Ah, okay. I'll never learn. <laughs> oh, you see, dear. this the game's is starting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, this oh, is the epic locked. camera. You you know yeah. it. You know it. You I was know tabbed it. out. Oh, this map. Yeah, oh, but usually, I played this. usually they have the forest between them. The middle. Yeah, yeah. In, in the middle, but like you this. Have to trust ooh. me on this map. Awful. Oh man, this is so wide open. You don't know what really to expect from this. Uh, what I want to see some laming fast. Come on, come on. I assume they're gonna work out. Yeah, this is really weird map generation. It should be in the middle, but. Yep. Uh, I don't know what they'll do. I guess it'll be some kind of trash war. It usually is. I don't like being trashed by Tato. It's not. Uh, okay. On this map, in my headset, my pocket. I was like, help! And my pocket saved me, so that was nice. <laughs> But you can't do that in 1v1. If you lose your words and your powers sure. and stuff, you're kind of a tricky situation. Yep. You do. Well, a lot of sheep I see from from yellow. I, I think he collected more. Even a few from... From... Ah, no, from... Uh, actually, cool. Because now cool I have... Sheep, I nah, yeah, yeah. I have cool now with the blue color and the yellow with red. Before uh, it was yeah, yellow I've red. Yeah, that as well. Yeah. Yep, by default, I think. Yellow is red and cool is blue. Is blue. I think they've both got eight sheep. Well, I know cool has eight sheep. Might have taken some of yellows. Both going for the early wood. Yeah, they are sending already villagers to that wood in the middle. Or what should have been in the middle. No laming so far. Loom for yellow. Okay. While well, he's taking the first boar and also starting to push a deer. Where is the second boar? Ooh. Look at look at yellow. So far away. The second boar. Damn. Oh yeah, that's really far. He scouted oh, it. oh I don't I don't know. Well I uh, mean his no, point hasn't. of view he can't see it. By a few tiles. It's like Three tiles out of his line of sight. Yeah, but you know, you usually you, you expect them to be not necessarily close, but like to three tiles away from the town center. But that boar, man, it's, really it's almost in the next map. <laughs> Look at that, really he thinks super he's been fast. Lamed. Yeah, yeah, he might He'll think. He'll see it with the sheep, I think, though. That sheep. Ah, is yeah, going yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going. It. He's going yeah. there. Come on, come on, continue, continue. He'll continue, find it in time. Continue and. Hallelujah! There's the yeah. yeah there there's we the go. boar. Seen the boar. Good job. If he man. wants to not idle his TC, then the bill. Actually, you have a deer, so. Yeah, he won't be. He won't be idle. Oh, but calls there too. He might. No, he's ignoring it. But Funny if, like, but he saw it cool. No. He was missing oh, by one it. tile, put put the fog on for him, you will see, oh, because otherwise I'm pretty sure that uh, he he would uh, he would leave uh, that yeah. boar. Very, oh. very close. <laughs> it would have been funny if Yellow had like just found the boar and then watch it disappear, <laughs> <laughs> running away towards Cool's base. Yeah, would be fun indeed. Okay, now Cool can see the lumber camp, yeah. Is this mirror again, or... Yeah, it's mirror, just... it's mirror. Mirror, yeah. okay, yeah. Kilt's war. Got Kilt's. I guess it's nice for the early wood. No wood bonus on this kind of map. Okay, cool. Ah, could see. Rush. Could see the barrack. Yeah. Could could could. Yeah. Could see the barrack. Um, it'll be men at arms into towers because you can go. It's this new thing that people are doing a lot, even in one v one hum wars. You rush. But then you get to feudal age, like minute 11, because you put everything on fu food just to get up. And then you get up and you click men at arms straight away and go forward with bills and towers. So the men at arms protect the bills, building towers and stuff. And I'd imagine that's quite a dangerous strat on a map like this. Yep. Anyway, Cool has something else planned. He's up to feudal age. And probably after that, you will add. Oh, but it's... I don't see any barrack from him. So, what is he trying to do, though? Sending two more vills, but the militias are there for... 
from yellow already there whoa he was sending forward wheels really cool to I'm do not what, sure what for, probably a tower you're uh, not must be, yeah. you're not he, fully oh, uh, he didn't you, it. He you, the you're you're not fully walled cool cool oh man unbelievable okay might not lose the vill, but he will if he fights, he needs to run away. But cult militia move really fast, so it's yep. gonna be hard to run away from that. <laughs> Look at how fast they move, it's awful. And yeah, this is what I mean, um... Paul is, uh, yellow's already going up, so he definitely wants to go men at arms into, uh... Towers, because he'll get to fuse age still quite fast. Okay, so cool is going tower probably, right? Uh, cool is going towers. I think yeah. yellow will be. Cool will already send the militia back. Actually. Going towers. The first tower to, to come. Uh, it doesn't hit anything though, cool's first tower. No, it doesn't. And, I agree. Uh, yellow's wood is like super safe in the back. Well, he, he safely walled, palisaded. Yeah, just to keep make sure the Vils couldn't just walk into his base. He'll probably just break the palisade. Yeah. Yep. And then he could just do another wall from the stone to the TC, which wouldn't be very expensive, especially for Celts. Oh man, Yellow might have. Uh, but no, no, he 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 will be in feudal age, and uh, I assume he will also build a defensive tower because he can mine stone. He has uh, a stone mine not far away from his lumber camp. So I think he, he's gonna be fine. Power coming up from Cool trying to do damage, but again, it probably won't do that much considering uh, there's backward. Yep. Uh, that's that's an outpost, not another oh, tower. Look at the bottom, the drush. It's not oh, walled. Oh, 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 oh! Just in the last very, second, very he rebuilt yeah. the palisade. Oh, I see, I see many terms here. Yeah? From from yellow, and obviously now he's moving a few villages to mine some stone, and expected again building a defensive tower to stop this push from cool. Ooh, look at look at his stone mine miners at cool. I mean, he he even stone walled, not only palisaded. Damn. Okay. Manatons do quite a lot of damage. They do. They do. Careful. I agree. Ah, come on, yellow. Housed well, at 35. Matter, he lost the scout, so... Oh, he's still housed. Yep. Well, he's still hitting that mining camp. Oh, it's nearly open when one of the, more of those stone piles is gone. The miners will be open. Oh, look, uh, Cool's building a watchtower next to the mining camp to kill off the men's arms. <laughs> Amazing. Oh damn, come on. Seriously? Yeah, watch how to kill men at arms. And yeah, I see it, I things. see it. Uh, oh, but uh, Cool almost lost the Vill to Yellow's TC. He tried to run past, I think, with Vills or something. Nice. Now using the four Vills to take the, the deer, the remaining deer. Okay, the tower is up, so Yellow going away with the men at arms. To hit something else, probably. This, uh, the on the right, Cool has a trying to build a tower and Yellow sending archers to kill the Vils. Actually, no, he's not building a tower. I think he wanted to, but he hasn't got around to it. Yeah. Okay, now Yellow is hitting the palisade at the gold. Archers coming out for call as well. Yellow has a few more. He also has a few archers. Yeah, he has. He's coming now. Yep. Archers on the right side as well. Population four more for yellow. 44 against 37. And a second archery range for yellow. And fletching. I think yellow has the advantage at the moment. Another tower from Cool on his gold as well. <laughs> oh, 
But the archers are oh, there. I shouldn't send the bills in. Man, his arms are really strong. And he Two lost. Bills. Yeah, yeah. Minus three bills. Oh, that was a bit painful for Cool. Uh, but but the tower is uh, is up. I mean, he he wanted probably to to buy enough time to finish that tower. But I don't. Oh, I guess from the archers. Yeah, he because the archers could shoot the bills. But ah, uh, but check out in the right side. Yellow with the tower to hit the lumberjacks. Yes, that's a good tower actually. Did it reach? It probably does. Yep. Okay. Some more wood spent by by cool to build another lumber camp. Good thing. And resources, which is ah, they are still both of them pretty far away from going up. Wheel yeah. barrow for yellow. Wheel barrow. So, I think yellow's still got a pretty big advantage. He's got much more army. And look, he's even going to tower calls last wood in the middle. Ay, 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 I see it, yeah. That could be quite bad. The I mean, there's wheels. an outpost there, but it's not like he can do anything about it because any units he sends will have to go all the way around. Unless he makes his own tower and it's where the outpost is, but he's made so many I can't imagine Cool having any stone, does he? Oh, yeah. Cool's got stone for one. And you can see the tower as well, he's just not reacting to it. Yeah, well, he has the outpost there, so he, he, he can see it. Ah, uh, now he's reacting to it. And then, uh, it's, oh. it's a bit late, I think. A bit late, the archers are gonna come in. Yeah, even the archers coming uh, in. The tower's and, up. And, Garrison. and the tower is also up, like you said. The archer's also there. Let's see if he's finishing the... Oh, lose. but he, he finished the tower, man. He's, he's finishing the tower. Bills, no. no, just one. Okay. But still, he's been taken basically completely off of wood while uh, Yellow is just having a free economy. True. And and uh, you you can see it over 500 food for for Yellow. Yeah. While cool, yeah. Well. Castle age mangonels. I think that's how this game is going to end, pretty much. Because Cool can't take wood anyway. All his wood is on that one strike, literally by his town center. But no, with uh, he's uh, he's destroying uh, Yellow's towers. Well, that's true. Yeah, it, it's delayed him a lot though. So I think it was a useful tower, even though it's going to yeah, go yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, did 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 a lot. The bad news, though, for for Cool is that yeah, Yellow is on the way to Castle Age, Castle while Cool pull pretty oh, far he's away going still. Knights again. <laughs> pretty yellow far away, man. Knights. I think it's funny that Yellow always changes to Knights. Like in in a Celt war in a situation, you could literally just stay going Expos and do yeah. probably just as much damage. But he loves to just change to Knights anyway. He's like, oh, I'm gonna go Knights. Why not? <laughs> Look at cool. Nah, he's, uh, he's behind big time, man. 16 military against 5. He's gonna resign soon. Yeah, well, as soon as uh, Yellow hits him, if I can't see him doing anything but resign. He's super far away from, from up. Come on, man. It's a big difference. And, and resources for Yellow, like, very, very good. I expect he will go a siege workshop. Workshop but uh, what's gonna be what's gonna be better to to go rams in this situation or or mangonels? Could go rams really if he's going because there's no other army to stop them. So knights by rams, bills can't kill them. You okay. Can't, obviously upgrade expos anyway because that's what he's done every game. He gets yeah, knights yeah. and expos. Actually, uh, cool big difference. Reclaim the wood on the right, but I think it's a little bit too little, too late kind of scenario. Well, he's in castle now, man. Well, we have cool, still playing, which is nice. But now knights coming. Yeah, yeah he's knights doing the coming. Same thing. He's getting expo and Balkin and then making the knights as well. <laughs> True. I like yellow style. I might need to try it sometime. Oh, look, the uh, cool actually sniped a couple of bills on the wood at the right, but yeah, he did. But then, at the same time, he's losing bills in his own wood at home. Market. Market, Market indeed. 
Market for cool. He wants to sell, buy food, sell some other resources, maybe a bit of stone, of, of wood, and to go up. He has to go up. Population, quite big difference. 14 at this point. And the crossbows for, for yellow still, still killing. 48, still losing. 47, while the 19 coming from yellow. Yeah. Can't fight under the towers because the other towers can shoot knights, but he can still do some good damage and when he comes. True. Well, he can fight when he has plus two, but not with just one. Yeah, he's killing the, the gold miners as well. <laughs> and a villager, a villager from yellow coming forward. Yeah, as, as expected. Workshop. Siege workshop. Oh, monastery. monastery. <laughs> Maybe he just wants to heal the knights under the tower. Well, he has different agenda. He's not doing what we're saying he's doing. Oh, he's but doing going with the knights to the lumber, fast housing. Nice. 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 Yeah. He saw it just in time. Good job. Oh, yellow is housed. <laughs> it's just because yellow. I, I'm sure yellow's got housed so many more times in cool this game. That's just why I notice. Probably. I guess he decided the monastery first to heal the knights and then siege workshop after. He doesn't. Yeah. There's no real rush for him to push at this point anyway. Seventy-six pop against forty. Well. Cool will be in Castle Age, but his economy yeah, but is not army. that pretty balanced. You know, he hasn't yeah, even yeah. got an archery range anymore. He's got no true unit producing buildings of any kind. He's just kind of hit Castle Age, and it's like a siege workshop. workshop but yeah. Knights can take care of that pretty easily. And GG, man. Yeah. Hey, yeah, well, he tried, but he was just way, way too behind. And we have the equalizer, man. Come on, four, four. Good wow. job, man. Good job for, for Yellow. So, I I said it in, in round 3. He lost 4-1 against uh, Cool. Yellow, I mean. But now it's 4-4. Four, four. He That's prepared cool. better for this, uh, for this match. Maybe the maps are different from the ones they were before as well. Or... Yeah, probably. Okay. And it's coming down to the last game, which is Deathmatch. And I think in Deathmatch, actually, death Yellow might have oh. might have an advantage. He's playing really, really well, Deathmatch. I think it's funny that it all hinges on a Deathmatch, considering I've never known either of them to be particular <laughs> Deathmatch players, if you know what I mean. Like, yeah, yeah. Both, they can play Deathmatch probably, but I mean, RM is like their strong suit. Yeah, Yellow was better in this this game, much much better, except the stone. Okay, coming back, and guys, indeed, going for the ninth game, man, game number nine, death match. Who? What to expect? Yellow played death match for VNS in WIC. Yes. He did. That's why I said that in death match he might have a, he might have a small advantage. I don't know how much cool uh, practiced though death match, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, I think um, good. Sorry, I zoned out for a bit. I was reading the chat, which is basically nonsense. Yeah. Uh, Jidba? No, man. Uh, obviously, the guys are, are joking. Come on, Glocken. Everybody knows that Jidba is from Greece, obviously. If you've seen the pictures from him, you know he's not Vietnamese anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at back to he laughing at the fact that it's death match. Yeah, true. Indeed. <laughs> oh, it's a best of three as well for one point, isn't it? Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. N now I see it. I, I thought it's only one game. So ah, it's a I best see. of three. I, I didn't yeah, know this until now. Work. Yeah, yeah. So game one, it's random. Game two, it's uh, 
switch sieve from game one interesting and game three hans, hans war nice <laughs> So, in game one, you don't have like team random, I mean, uh, random and mirror. It's full, full random. It can be, for example, Hans against Vikings. Damn. Then it's gonna be Switch. And last game, the third one, in case they're gonna need it, Hans War. We will see how strong VNS Cool is. I don't know. Is, is, yeah, and it would be interesting to see the sieves as well, because if it's random sieves, it could yeah. be yeah, yeah, you're right. quite even, or it could be quite unfair. Totally unfair. Well, like I said, if you have Hans against uh, Vikings in deathmatch... Yeah. Or Saracens versus Franks. Yep. Because, I mean, throwing Axemen are strong, but I still think Mamelukes could probably take them, so you could just go... Mass camels and mamelukes and okay. Thing. Let's Starting. see. Starting and we have oh Hans for cool and Mayans oh. for yellow. Ooh. Oh my god! That's okay. Yes, it is. Definitely prefer the Hans. <laughs> yeah, well, we they can spam. Obviously, since they, they they don't need houses, they can spam very very fast. And yeah. for 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 Mayans to go effectively, plume arches. They need two, three castles at yeah. least. They're yeah, yeah, yeah. Eagles or howls. They're probably howls first into eagles. But did you see how fast Cool placed all of his buildings? Like, yep. before second 20 game time, he had about eight buildings placed. It was horrifying. <laughs> and now he's got ten paladins queued up in both of his stables and howls. It's so fast. It's... Oh, 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 oh. But the Gosh. scout, the scout from Cool is already hitting yeah, one of... Going away, okay, okay. One. Oh, no. Well, the eagle's coming in too. The warrior from Mayans. And, and, and! Ah, he's fighting with the, with the Halbs, okay? Yeah, I guess he, ex he expected it to be a Hussar. He didn't expect a Miso Sib, so that's why he went Halbs. And he'll probably stop going Halbs since he's realized he's yep. versus Mayans. They can't make <laughs> cavalry units. And it'll probably be full halves for yellow for the time being, knowing he's versus Huns. Well, but but, oh, but really, down. you would expect you would expect uh, that uh, Huns have way more population at this point. But check it out. I mean, it's not a big difference. I'm surprised, it's really. It's about ten difference at the moment. That's not. Look, he's going forward to his workshop already, Cool. He wants to play this aggressive. Yeah. And in his base, he has like four or five villages idle. Now he's moving to build the other buildings. Yeah, I think he's doing a bit micro at the front because he's got to deal with the halves. He's going to have to mass up a lot of cab arch to kill them. He's using his own halves as a meat shield to fight. Yep. Oh. Check out also the. Well. I it's, mean, you know you the said resources. about the population difference? Yeah, uh, yeah. It's about double now. <laughs> it is, it is. So, yeah, so Huns it. definitely has a bigger population. Yep. Uh, I think this is a much stronger unit. The Paladins and Cav Arch, the Halbs can't stand up against it, and there's not enough Eagles to. True, true. And the Paladins can kill the Eagles anyway. Like and he's said. now building a forward castle on that hill, which is great, coming oh, now with siege yes. rams. Whoa. And my main struggle to kill siege rams, like the plumes can't do anything really against siege rams. Yep. The, ye the yellow's going to have to delete the forward castle. Oh, cancel the castle. Yellow, cancel the castle, man. Oh, he lost the stone. I think he lost it, yeah. Yeah, he lost the stone. Yeah. He probably wasn't focusing on it, he's quite busy queuing up units, but the gather point's bad. He needs to put the gather point like behind his castle and mass because they just can't fight this. No, this seems to be over, man. Really, this seems to be over. I mean, even yeah. even with, with yellow, good you good deathmatch player. Specs. 130 but pop to 30. Yeah, That's to 30 something. And villages 24, cool, and uh, yeah, 11 for yellow. I don't know. 
I don't well, see any trip though. Know yeah. that even despite the sieves that Cool knows how to play deathmatch. I don't know. Oh gosh. Yeah, Trebs. Trebs. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's not even minute seven and it's just, oh my gosh. Oh, no, this is like over 90%, it's over already. It was fun casting the Wick deathmatch games actually, this is, reminds me of that. Yeah. I hope to see more of the deathmatch players in tournaments. I did enjoy casting their games. Still population high. Look at look at cool going almost to the pop limit, while yellow 37. I don't know, man, how long he can hold. He wanted to build another town center on the right oh, yeah, side, and he got but killed by a single yeah. cav arch. Or single cav archer, yeah. And look at cool spreading more and more now to the extra gold mines. Uh, Taking down, yeah, taking down pretty much everything. Yeah, he just couldn't hold, man. It, it's a big difference. It's a big difference. <clears throat> okay, so we have Cool winning the first Gosh. game <laughs> in the best of three. Minite, uh, he hold it like as for as long as he could. But look at the largest army. Almost a hundred difference. 140 versus yeah, it's, 40. It's the power of Hans, man. Hans is a strong Steve. Isn't that why Jibda loves Hun so much on Deathmatch. Yeah, cause... well, in Deathmatch... Okay. Now we will have a yellow with Hans against Cool Mayans. And it's <laughs> gonna be the other way around, I assume. <laughs> yeah, good luck to Cool this game. <laughs> exactly, good luck to Cool. So it will come down to the very last game, Hans War. Really, I'm, I'm expecting yellow to, to win this one, the next one, easily. Hans against Maya. No. And they know whoop. the sieves these games as well. Whoop, so. whoop. It was, it was a full random sieve for the first game. And, and game number two, they switched the sieves. Yeah, he, just, he was just lucky to get the Huns the first game out of all the sieves. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I wouldn't have minded getting Goths or Saracens versus that, but still, <laughs> Huns is... Okay. And no houses as well, like that's one of the biggest things, yeah, I'm sorry about. Here we go, and now we have obviously yellow Huns, it's it's reversed, switched I mean, and cool Mayans. <laughs> that's the worst thing for cool, he's already housed and he can't even <laughs> do loom. <laughs> oh, the stream ended. What? Oh. Uh, they restarted for whatever reason, I guess. Re? Something happened. That stream ended for me, so... Ah, oh, wrong setting. Oh, okay, wrong okay. Setting. Wrong setting. Yeah, I, I didn't even look if they have all the, the resources. I was paying attention how fast they will start to make the military. That's why I, I was also asking Dan because, like I said, yeah, I'm I'm noob. I know, I didn't I didn't look to I see. I pay attention. I think Dan thinks everyone's a noob, so it's okay. It's the correct settings. So yeah, my bad, man. I'm surprised that they changed it because I mean it was deathmatch the last game and Cool was host then. So I'm just surprised that the settings would change from deathmatch to not deathmatch. Yeah, true. The sieves were correct, though. Oh yeah, they got that right, at least. Okay, and they started, they started. Why Hans won? Just because of that, in deathmatch, they can go to the pop limit in a matter of, of minutes. While for Mayan, you have to build houses. Castles. So, yeah, 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 castles. 
takes yeah. much longer to mass an army, which is still not strong because paladins and cav arch are stronger than Very alps strong. and plumes or yeah. eagles and plumes. Yeah. So we said, let's hope we won't see Hans against Viking, but actually was not that far away. We have seen Hans against Mayan. Because game one, game number one, they played Ar Ar Arabia <coughs> with free pick of civilizations, but no Hans. What, what you don't understand. Okay. Here we go. And now it's a death match. Mayans for cool and yellow with Huns. Sending already obviously the scouts. Stable. Stable. Two stables from from yellow. While a lot a lot of barracks I see for <laughs> for cool. Go straight for the halves. Yep. Like because he knows it's gonna be Paladins and Cav Arch at least, who's going to go full halves and maybe Eagles. Oh, the Hussar coming in, can it do much damage? Probably not too much because there's a howl about no. it. Like, full may get a vill. Oh, he might yep. get, yeah, yeah, he, he got a vill. Nice. He's already a vill ahead, that's good for him. Paladins flooding in. I think uh, Yellow is adding far too many stables. I saw Cool adding the archery ranges much sooner, so yeah, Cav Arch coming out. But I don't think he can do too much versus because Paladins alone can't kill the halves. Oh, he's going for the market strats. Who? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 I see. Yeah, he's Yellow. Selling already. Yellow. Yeah. Okay. So selling everything. Castle coming up on the main gold for cool. adding. I like how cool he's building, man. I didn't know that, uh, you know, how, how well he's playing Deathmatch, but he seems to have a good idea how to yeah, play. Yeah, like his buildings yeah. are much better than uh, Yellow's, I think. Yellow looks like much less experienced DM player. Yeah. Because you can look that he's just, all the paladins are just kind of melting away. There's no, because he's taken far too long to get the cav arch out. But you're right, only now he did one archery range. Why going all the way pal They are, I, I, I agree, they are super strong. But man, with halbs? Hmm. Another castle incoming from cool, but yeah, protect your villagers, man. Uh, he has enough army yeah, to defend, I think. He should yeah. build a house though, connect between the gold and the he, PC yeah, yeah, yeah. to wall off. I agree. I guess it doesn't matter because yellow's just suiciding everything anyway. I think and yellow is a bit slower, I don't know. And this to me player. is a bit is a bit surprising, really. Because he he's playing like uh, look at look at even ACCM, congrats, cool. <laughs> yeah. Holding off the first waves. And now he's yellows, getting fine to mass his plumes and his howls. I mean, the Cav Arch and Rams are coming in now, but I think... Like, remember at minute 6 before, uh, Cool had about 150 pop with Huns, and uh, yeah. Yellow has like 90, so... It's like a 60 pop difference at this time. And by minute 8 he had trebuchets and castles all over the map. A third castle for... for Cool? And Yellow's run out of gold as well. Cool has 5,000 in the bank. Whoa! Yellow has 5. So 5 versus like 4,000 gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but uh, he's at least uh, spreading more. I mean, going to build town centers close to the gold. Okay. So many halves. While, well, while cool still holding there, man, and you're right, so many halves. I mean, what is, what is yellow thinking? Look at the population. I mean, you, like I said, you would expect that Hans to literally explode so close to, to be 200 pop, pop limit, 
but it's not the case here. Actually, cool is the one to have more population. And with Man, those plumes, yeah. Really nice though, with 100 HP. Yeah, true, true. Also, you're right. And you still get a bonus versus cavalry, I believe. The castle might go down though, because I mean, yellow is still applying good pressure. He's just running out of resources faster than cool. I think, yeah, I think he's gonna get this castle. I have 7,000 HP, but it's still. Yeah, more and more siege ramps incoming from from yellow. Call me the eagles to kill it because balloons do such little damage. It's like one damage per hour or something from balloons. That forward castle could be quite dangerous from yellow as well. Oh yeah, one castle down, one castle down. But there is there are quite a considerable number of plumes, so that's I guess that's one thing going in uh, Paul's favour. But I, it does look like if um, oh, yellow if only, needs to map control, yeah, it, he'll be in the right position. If only Cool goes there with the plume archers to kill the forwards. The Rams, though, they're gonna be the re thing that kills the plumes in the end. Oh man, Cool still holding, unbelievable. Look at the population. You see the Huns close to 100, while the Mayan going to almost 150. This is crazy, really. I didn't it's expect this. Yellow lost the critical mass of units. Yes. And he's just gonna get overrun now. Skirms. <laughs> Back to you just laughing, he's like, well, Skirms. <laughs> of Skirms course, can't I mean, anything come in on. This. There's like oh, eagles man. everywhere. So cool might might win this one, man! Unbelievable. I think cool's gonna take it at this rate, anyway. So cool needs to add his own rams or trebs or something to kill the castles. I mean, he's just using brute force at the moment. How and his own castles shooting at it? Yeah, well, cool is at the pop limit. Oh god! While Too while yellow, god. yeah, or oh, hundred and something, a hundred. Yeah. Sixteen, Still seventeen. Too low, yeah, very low. Check this out, but he needs like one, two treb also. And yeah, li li like he did a few siege ramps, and siege workshops, and, and go siege ramps. And he is, man. He is. Just these two pop caps to make the trebs, so they're just queued up. The siege ramp destroying that forward. Get more HP yeah, yeah, because, yeah. Uh, I think. Huns only get hoardings or only get masonry or something, whereas Mayans get, you know, architecture and hoardings, so they get 7,000 HP compared to 5,200. Back to didn't even play in that tournament, blew away. Check this out, man. More, more siege ramps incoming, and now a uh, cool is the one to build a town center on that hill, okay, while yellow, 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 well, population now looks good for him, but he's running out of wood, uh, at the limit with the gold, food is looking good for him still, but uh, if he plans to go more and more paladins, he needs a way, way stronger economy, and he's gonna lose the other castle, check this out. <laughs> Crazy. I think it's just. I think he showed you like how to play mains versus Huns. You've obviously got to be on the defensive at the start, but you yeah, can, yeah, yeah. Can do something if you push back, and they're both just laughing. <laughs> well, what can uh, you do? I mean, I don't. I I think not even not even uh, yellow expected this really. Yeah, they just what? kind of was like, oh, they probably expected it to just go to the third game. I mean. Like, Cool has all the resources in the map, he's still at 1k gold in the bank. Actually, uh, Yellow has a thousand gold, but he can't use it much. He needs Cavarch, really, again. Germs are too weak. Cavarch, Paladin combo. Exactly. Push Paladins, back. I mean, look look at those Paladins now, destroying all the all the ramps, and even hit on the, the Plumed Arches. So obviously, yeah, Cool has to go again a few helps. 
I mean, skirms work, but they don't work versus the eagles, really. True. The skirms do one damage per hit versus eagles with 100 HP, so... Even with all those skirms, it took, like, three or four volleys to kill a single eagle. <laughs> Another castle in the north for, for cool, and now he's sending, obviously, a few more siege rams to take down that castle and the town center for yellow, from which he's mining gold. While yellow losing another town center. Whoa! Again, cool at the pop limit. Uh -oh, Not that far it? behind for yellow as well. Yeah, what? What? Tell me. At the top, have you seen yellow's castle being rammed down? I, I said about this. Yeah, the oh, castle yeah, in the north. Oh, yeah, but he had the trebuchet as well and he got trapped. Oh! So got destroyed by the ram. Well, in the south, yeah, cool, building a siege workshop, another castle on the hill. It's looking better, man. Villagers, 126, though, for for yellow, cool, 91. But Mayan, we know, Mayans don't need, like, crazy, crazy yeah, economy. Yeah, quite cheap. Yep, they are. Well, it seems that uh, yellow managed to hold somehow. But with the resource bonus, you know, plus 20% gold, it'll actually be quite bad for Hun's late game. Oh, he's going straight for the north now. Interesting. I don't yeah, well, think there's enough paladins to kill the plumes. I'm not sure, though. No, it's not, it's not. And he's Council's gonna lose that. going down. Yeah. Yeah, oh, he has just patrolling there. Uh, And the castle is down, losing a, a few more population. Who's gonna lose his trebuchets though? The yeah, true. Up. True. I mean, why why he moved also the the trebs there? It may have been a mistake, or he just didn't think about it. It doesn't matter too much. He still got three by his castle already. And he's still yeah, he's still pushing now straight into Yellow's base. Not strong for for now, but uh, yeah, he's he's keep. Sending more and more units. Let's see. So he's coming from the north now to attack like stronger and the south as well with rams and plumes. Oh, look at yellow's resources over 2000 uh, stone, but gold, wood, and and uh, food oh, yeah. at the limit, man. Oh, yeah, at the yeah, limit. I can't deal with it on the converse cool has 2000 gold no food and a bit of wood yeah but i guess the gold's what matters. Well, cool doesn't, doesn't need as much food he needs some food because he needs more eagles and uh, his true. army to kill the rams and tank the skirms but i think he ran out of food a bit to not be able to make eagles well he is now <coughs> sending the eagles secured, like all the gold on the map so he doesn't need to worry too much And still cool with more population. <laughs> Look at Yellow building more castles. But yeah, the trips are moving in. The eagles raiding pretty effectively. And don't send paladins one by one. Yellow. He might. Yellow's he might is all in his bills, whereas all it's all in the army. He might not even finish that uh, castle he's building now. You're gonna lose a lot of bills around it no matter what happens. Whoa! Now isn't this a surprise? This is crazy. I kind of expected Yellow to just win this at the start. But... Yeah, I, I, I even said that, that there's no way that, that now Yellow doesn't win this game. Him hunts against Mayan. Mm. There's no way. But, yeah, there, there is a way. There is. <laughs> oh dear. GG, cool man. GG. GG, man. So, so VNS cool winning the death Fight match. Cool. Winning also the second game. Oh, man, it's unbelievable, really. If you're asking me. Yeah, I think that was really, really good. And he won the series as well, didn't he? Yeah, that was a... yeah, 5-4. 
So we have the champion, we have the for VNS Master Cup number 9, VNS School. Good job, man. Let's watch the achievements. Largest army 152 to 80. Do with me. Yeah, man. Wow, look at this. Yellow got 5,000 more gold, but... I am now, are just so I am now checking. Expensive. But let me, let me change the score. It's 5-4 for VNS Cool. Winning the grand finals, man. Unexpected. I mean, unexpected in the, in the death match. Poo. So yeah. He needed, he needed the death and the largest army. Poo. Almost double, double for, for VNS cool. More building raised, but overall, yeah, cool lost more units. So, it, it, there was some mistake from, from Yela, I mean, I don't know how to say. Yeah, more, more food and more gold for yellow, while stone and wood, better for cool. And a lot more gold actually for yellow. That's what surprised me. I guess it's just because Huns are so 5, expensive on the more. Paladins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas the Plumes and Halves, the combo... And even Eagles cost less gold than the Paladin. Not quite as powerful. Yeah, well, like... Uh, Homus saying, 20% longer lasting resources. It is, but... You saw in the achievements that uh, overall, I mean, over 5,000 more gold for, for yellow. But it, it seemed to me that he was just unable to, to mass like more military than, uh, than Cool did. And again, surprising since with Hans you can go to the pop limit, you don't need houses. I don't know. Again, it was just he know. made too many paladins at the start and not enough cavalry, so he could never ever deal with the... Halves, and then when, once he lost all his paladins to Halves, Mayans had enough to push back. Yep. Congratulations indeed, congratulations for BNS Cool winning the title for this year.